Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Kira and welcome back to this let's play of Racketeer. Last time we went on a little uh, dungeon and that means I will actually have a lot of new items that I can place around the shop. Like, seriously, I have a lot. Oops. <laughs> uh, I will not talk to you, I want this item. And this one was really expensive, so I replaced that. And on the shop. So this episode will probably be me selling a lot of stuff. Hey there, what can I do for you? Oh, how much would this be? Mm, how much would it be? Yes. That is too expensive. I would go for 30. No regular kid. I can't accept the price. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, so... I don't know if I will read everything that people say here. But I will try to see if I can sell some of these things off. Fairly around. That is actually a good one. That gave me a lot of money. Um, okay, not that much money. Close enough though. I could be a little lady. And I'm nearing my halfway point for the first level. And already doubled my... Over, uh, more than doubled what I started with, so... That is also a little nice thing. Mm, will this... Well, that sold fairly easy. Mm, okay, so now we have to fill up our store again. There we go. But it's also a good way to get some days to go fast. Hey there, what can I get you? Um, old man wants the swords. Mm, okay, we'll go for this. So I made 80 of that. You want to buy a focus staff? How does this sound? People mm, are not that happy about paying what I want. But again, I just need to get to the 10,000 and then I will go on more adventures again. So you want an apple? <sighs> really? Are you that poor? Maybe I could do better than I do, but I have no idea. I just go for the 30 mile and then if they say no on the first, I go to frenzy. So he will buy... Holy crap. There. And there. And a little up. So, but yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. And again, dungeons give me a lot of items that I can sell. Holy crap, this... it's late. Time seems to fly by today. Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on too. Ensure you are working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Quite. First I have broken up the day into four time periods. Morning, afternoon, evening and night. What you can do and how much you can do depends on the time of day. Hey, yeah, that clock's been broken up into four areas. Think of each part as a slice of time. A slice mm, like a pie? Indeed. I thought I would be able to keep your attention if, you, <laughs> if I made it. But it's similar to some sort of sweet food. So there's the morning slice, the afternoon, and getting hot. I'm getting hungry. <clears throat> anyway. Now to explain in detail. Generally, you can only act between morning and night. When night ends, you need to get to bed. Trying to run a shop while sleep uh, de uh, depressive. Pre de 
private. It's unpleasant, so I'll say I'll close up when I get there late. So you essentially have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about town of business. You cannot go do both at once, so decide in, in advance what you need to do. To be clear, giving the shop will cons uh, leaving the sh to be clear, opening the shop will consume a slice. And returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. But what if I go to like the plaza and then the cafe? You can go around town easily enough to avoid co uh, consuming a slice with each move. Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. Yes, that is a good uh, attitude to take now. There's another virtual element. Leaving town long together, visiting the dungeon will consume two slices, no matter what. It will? It takes that long? So, if I go in the morning, I'll get batting in the evening. That is precisely how it works. Thus, you can only leave for uh, for dungeon at an early point of the day. If it is night or you have done something else that evening, uh, that evening you cannot go. Because if you did go, you get back real late, right? Exactly. Now, not only would you annoy the adventure companion with staying out of late, you would also be dead on your feet the next day after turning. And this is a lot to uh, wrap my head around. We'll get used to it, I'm sure. Before you knew it, you will be thinking about it naturally. You think so? Well, it helps that you will always be able to see how much time a particular action will consume simply by paying attention to the clock. That is everything. If you ever want to go uh, over this again, simply ask me when you are in the shop. I'll be glad to go over it as often as you need. Okay, so with that... Well then. You seem to have the very basic understanding on how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. <laughs> uh, easy as pie. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect they will begin to get uh, your offer soon. But I already buy stuff from the guild and the ma market. So why would I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There are one major difference between the guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices. In other words, you can haggle as you do when selling haggling down. Uh, uh, selling. Haggling down, that is. Oh, so I can get stuff real cheap. But that seems like a pretty hard. But when buying and selling are not that difficult. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell. And when you set a price and uh, perhaps negotiate, obviously you wish to pay less than the base price of the item. Okay, so buy low, sell dear, right? Just so. That is, very, uh, that is the very core of the success businesses. Now then, shall we proceed? The fundamental uh, product used. Uh, it's the same as when selling. K.O. Welcome to Rakita. Would you like to buy this from me? Um, okay, need to name a price lower than the base. So, um, think, uh, think, press down, come on. Me, you can do this. So, what should I set it to? So, well. <laughs> I think I will go for 30 below. Not bad, but I uh, suspect most customers will be fine with doing lower. Try lowering the price a bit more, 50% or less perhaps. But I'm already am. Um... Okay, I will go lower then. Excellent. This is a good price level. Now then, let us proceed haggling over the price already. The concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price you believe to be fair, 
Adjust your offer until they agree to sell it to you. Okay. Let us begin then. Could you offer me a little more? I think it's worth a lot. Um, okay, so I need to set the higher offer price. And then we go back to this. Yes, between 50 and 70 is the ba uh, base is a good target. You will gain an item to sell without giving up too much money. And then it is generally how it goes. You seem to have a decent enough caps of it. Well, let's get in theory into prices again. I will sell you several items. If you buy them from a, uh, me successfully, I believe you will be willing to proceed. Well, let us begin. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. What would you be willing to pay for this? Um, yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Uh, game? Okay, <laughs> my game just um, bothered for some reason for me. Yes, well done. Let's do that one more. Hello, welcome to Raketa. Raketa's here, sorry. What would you be willing to pay for this? Um, here's an excellent price. Thank you so much. And we got solid. Well, well, you get it. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask. I will not ask for that. I will just put out some items here. What's I have? And this one. So let's open the shop again. And let's see. Mama asked me to pick this up, so he wants to buy this sword. Oh, I can't ask you to go in the door, right? I'll. And I made some good money on that. So next up we have. Hello, looking for something special? Mm -hmm. Um, mommy asked me to sell this. Oh, we crap, that is expensive. But if I can sell it and buy it, then I can sell it for good money. Mm. Yeah, that's great. It was expensive, but hopefully I can get a lot of money. Looking for something special? Hey, how much for this? So he got that. I'm doing pretty good, I think. I hope. Holy crap, there's a lot of people in here. Mommy asked me to sell this. So I will buy for this. Okay, I'm doing quite good and I got a lot of um, special items, but I need to make sure that I get the money. Um, Henry wants to buy that thing. Can you sell it just a little cheaper? Okay, I can go to this. And so... Wow, that's a good day today. Would you sell this to me, my girl? Of course I will. Um, I just have to get the right price. Alright, that's a good price. I don't think I'd make that much money this round. Uh, hey, how much for this? Um, this much? Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I got two good items and expensive items that I can put on display here. And yeah. And then I can put some of these things. Yeah. And then I can open the shop one more time for today. Hello, welcome to Rekatia. Finally found it. I didn't expect to find it here. So he she wants to buy this for me. No, I can't be down less please. Okay, I will go to 20, 20 there. I can still make 160 on the gun by selling. Can't hang too much really. That's too much. And I almost got a new level. Please buy some of this good stuff out there. I 
finally found it. I didn't expect to find it here. I think I've seen this before. <laughs> A bit expensive, isn't it? 600. One last prize. And... Well... He's really poor guy. He yeah, is so close. Well, one more? Nice. When she died, my grandmother told me to sell this off if I ever got into trouble. Well, oh, I want that. Great deal. It was expensive, but I got it. And I lived up. What do you want? How much for this? Um, this much? I can't ask you to go in the lower right. Okay. Nice. And one. Oh god, I still have a lot today. Well, can I, have, uh, can I help you with anything? Right then, get this sort of please. <laughs> Capitalism ho! <laughs> okay, just to seize that to high, so... But again, that's 100% profit, no matter what, because I found it when I was adventuring before. So, that's it for today. Good night. Good night. I buy it. Three things and I sold a lot of things. I'm pretty happy with it today. So, next day. So, anything you want to say? Well, you seem more or less used to the basic of running an item shop. <laughs> you think so? There's one other matter, however. You cannot always be certain that a customer will know what they want when they come in. What do you mean? They may come to thinking, what should I make for dinner? What will uh, what would be a good weapon, and so for, uh, forth? They will not be quite sure what exp uh, exactly they wish to pursue. If they come through the door. In in such a case, you must provide them with advice to help them decide. What? How could I do? Many customers will simply give uh, uh, give up if they don't need uh, if they don't find anything suitable for their needs on the counter. Others, however, will realize that they may have uh, reserved stock and require us uh, and require as to whatever or not we have something they seek. That is where you make suggestion an item a thing they would like. In a sense, it's the ultimate chance to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know what someone desires, you will very likely impress them by uh, encourage them to return. Yeah, no pressure then, not at all. Well, let's give it a little practice, shall we? It is no different than a normal sale, really, beyond the fact that you must choose the item to sell to uh, yourself. Let us begin. KK. Welcome. I would like a sword, please. So, anything is to occur as long as it is a sword. Ultimately, you just pick something a person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little uh, advice, if you sell weapon and armor uh, to adventurer's friend, they will quit the item you sell them. Meaning, of course, that if you sell item to them, they do not need uh, to lend them any item at the start of the dungeon accessories, and will be able to bring back more items for your own use. Even if an adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon, the equipment are not lost since it is their possession. So selling better equipment to our adventurous friends is a good idea even if you must undersell to them a little. I sure it work the same way. So think carefully about who you sell what to and what effect it may have on their performance. Whoa, I hope I can keep track of all that. If you look at the details of an item then selling it to one of your adventurous friends, you can also check what the person human has. Now then, we shall continue. Affirmative taste. I would like a softness. 
so I have two swords, and it's better to sell the ex uh, the 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 the, blah, blah, the expensive one. Yes, excellent. The rest is like a normal sale. We want to get. Let us put the whole thing into practice. I'll ask you for an item. Sell me that, and I ask for, and you will pass. Let's begin. Hello, welcome to Raketia. I would like a weapon, however... How about something like this? Oh, this is lovely. How much bread? Of course, I will go for this one. Mm, could you be a little lower price, perhaps? Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. And that's how. Precisely done. Once more then. Hello, welcome to Rickets here. I would like a weapon, however... How about this? And then I will set the price to... This. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Fantastic, you are ready for adventuring now. If you ever wish to practice this again, simply ask. Okay, so first... I will place some stuff here. Okay, I'm running out of items. So, but the problem with the new thing I got here is... I have to finish, I can check. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing even if you are not on the plaza. <laughs> well, it's healthy, right? The chapel? City, you came from a uh, uh, fiancé company, right? What on earth are... Yes, that is right. Work for Thermal Finances. So you're uh, employed by them, right? What is it like? Um, no, that's not quite accurate. I was contacted to, to turn through another organization. Thus, I am not really an employee, per se. So you just contracted. I'm surprised you seem so... It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belongs to a very specific contract agency. There are, of course, a few, few uh, free agent fairies out there as well, and... So that's how it works. Uh, yes, to tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. So the agency were founded as... Uh, an age ago. In order to help uh, facilities, uh, fa facilitate Ferris' livelihoods. That's amazing. Quite. Okay, but I think I will go to the market and buy some stuff. Uh, I will buy one of these. I buy one of these. Um, I think I will buy one thing. Uh, I have food, I think, but I will buy one just to make sure. Okay, so I can't buy any other things. I'll buy one of these. I have not enough for this. This one. This one. Okay, so now I don't have that much money, but I should probably. Why is it close? That's really irritating. I just checked the merchant guild here. Buy. Oh, maybe I should have buy some. I buy a hat. I think I that that's what I can do. Okay, so now with all that, I will go and end. Woolly hat and this one. And then I will take the rest of this day. Oh, come. This is a uh, present for my brother. Okay, you still have to pay my price though. Um, could you make that a little cheaper? Okay. I'm going home. What? Stupid girl. Uh, 
Uh, I want this. Oh, that's way too much. Okay, I think I did a little gold. I'll go for this. Okay. A lot easier to sell then. <sighs> looking for something special? I'm looking for a piece of armor. Let's see, do I have any treasure thing? Is this under armor? How about something like this? Nope, that ended. I don't have any armor. Because I didn't buy any. Welcome, can I help you with anything? Okay, you want to buy that one. That should be fairly easy enough. Mm, it's really that expensive. I'll go to 20%, but nothing less. Alright, that's a good price. Also because I really have to get the, the money I need for the payments. Oh, hey, welcome. And he wants to buy this one, so... Could take it a bit lower, okay, like this. Okay, we're doing good here. And we still have two periods left. I'll just... Sandals... Place a book there, and... A simple cloak cave, often used by poor adventurers and kids playing hero. I'll place that there. And then open for the second last period. What are you looking for? Yes, you can buy that one for this much. Okay, that went well. So, next up we have. Would you sell this to me, Miguel? Of course I will. Too expensive gold, make it cheaper. Okay, like this. Yeah, I think I'm doing good enough. Okay. Okay, th this put up your defense, so that would be pretty good if you actually bought it for this price. Okay, this price. I didn't make that much on it though, but okay. Not that many customers this evening. Oh, love it there. Get away. No, I want this one. And this one. So this will be last evening. Welcome, can I help you with anything? Okay. How much should I sell this for? There we go. No, I can't break down this crap. Okay, this one. That's too high. Still earn 200. And... You want to buy that? There we go, and... That's all for today. I'm tired, so I will go to bed. I think I did good. And we're on to the fifth day. And you don't want to talk to me, so we still have one, two, three days before payment. But I will look into that in the next episode. Um, I actually think I will... How much? I have two things left, so I think I will go on adventure next time to get some new items. But yeah, that will be for the next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell.